reputed mob boss Joey Merlino, uh, pretty much for sure he's a mob boss, roped into bizarre Philly election fraud conspiracy. Over the weekend, Merlino's name came up in a fantastical exclusive published by the Buffalo Chronicle, a bogus conspiracy news website that has been linked to patently false stories about Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who is our bae and our most beloved Trudeau of all. Oh yeah, even Snopes debunked this completely. So I went and looked at Snopes, and Snopes said that this is unproven. Well, even Snopes says, well, well, I'm not really sure. This is Only Real Cloud. I make videos about news, politics, culture, and dank memes. How are you doing today, everybody? I hope you're doing well. I am doing well as well. Well, what do we have to do in the well of news? Okay, that's enough. Edit that out. Cut. Cut that out. We're gonna we're gonna try it again. What do we got today? We're gonna do some we're gonna do some fun fun stories today about the election, of course, because we still don't have any election results in the U.S. election between Biden and Trump. No election results yet, even though the media has declared. President Joe Biden, the new president, the president-elect, the projected president-elect. But uh, actually, the results aren't going to be certified until December 14th or 12th or something like that. And so, yeah, it's, um, it's going to be a while until we actually have anything concrete. And in the meanwhile, Trump is uh, doing all sorts of lawsuits and all sorts of other juicy, salacious stories are coming out, like this one from the Philly Voice. Reputed mob boss Joey Merlino roped into bizarre Philly election fraud conspiracy. So this guy apparently is a mob boss. He even has his own Wikipedia page and appears to be very much a mob boss. Look it up. Um, this guy's definitely a mob boss. <laughs> Here's some like old school surveillance photos, police surveillance photos from the 90s. There he is. Yeah, apparently he... Uh, uh, pretty much for sure he's a mob boss. <laughs> and he's one of the few that didn't get whacked already. Anyways, let's read on. So apparently, skinny Joey Marlino has been dragged into a deranged conspiracy theory. And why is this uh, conspiracy theory so deranged? That the mob would be rigging elections, 300,000 elections rigged for uh, Biden in, uh, against Trump, paid for uh, in the orders of some millions of dollars paid for by the Biden campaign, probably. Uh, that's the accusation. Anyways, um... Over the weekend, Merlino's name came up in a fantastical exclusive published by the Buffalo Chronicle, a bogus conspiracy news website that has been linked to patently false stories about Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who is our bae and our most beloved Trudeau of all. Oh yeah. And here's what they linked to. The Buffalo Chronicle ran Facebook ads. This is from BuzzFeed News. The Buffalo Chronicle ran Facebook ads promoting dubious Trudeau stories. Oh my gosh, look at Trudeau. And then they're saying, oh, this is totally debunked. Even Snopes debunked this completely. So I went and looked at Snopes. Did Justin Trudeau stop teaching at Vancouver Private School under the cloud of a sex scandal? Oh, apparently, apparently not. Well, what was it? In 2001, that's the claim. Justin Trudeau left his job at the West Point Gray Academy after having a relationship, an inappropriate relationship, with either a student or a student's mother. And Snopes said that this is unproven. Well, unproven? That's not so strong. That's not a uh, strong false. Now, I'm not going to make any contributions to you. Snopes, I'm sorry. Speaking of Mr. Trudeau and conspiracy theories, uh, he's been in the news as well, because he talked about the Great Reset. The Great Reset. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges like extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change. Oh, Mr. Trudeau, it works for everybody. We're here to listen. We're here to listen and cooperate and all the good moral things. And, and the Great Reset. We're just going to Great Reset the whole world. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Don't worry about it because look how handsome I am. I've got my gray beard now. That means I'm serious and very responsible and very solemn and, and sincere and, and super sincere. Yeah, this guy's the most fake guy ever. Ugh. 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 I don't like him at all. Anyways. 
There was one thing I did quite agree with that Trudeau said, and I thought it was quite good that he said it about the U.S. elections. Canada is respectful of the processes underway in the United States. We will not be uh, interfering or engaging in any way in their electoral processes, and that includes commenting on their electoral processes. The role of the Canadian government uh, is to be there to defend Canadian interests while working uh, with elected leaders around the world, uh, and we will continue to do that. And I think, I think he looked, he did pretty well, and I can understand why people like him as a prime minister because he's he's a nothing. He doesn't have any strong opinions of his own. He's handsome. He speaks well. He delivers the party line on cue. He's a brilliant actor, great for the role. He's not a real politician, so he's just sort of a figurehead, and so that's kind of great for Canadians. That's uh, great. We've got a handsome, nice. Prime Minister, but he doesn't really have a great deal of power. We just let the party run the system and we trust the party because we always vote for the party. And so, yeah, I guess that's that's how they go. But Canada does have some good redeeming qualities, especially in its political system. We have a robust and, and good political system, a parliamentary system here in Canada. And I think Trudeau's comments on not commenting on the American election were very, very appropriate. And, and that that's good Trudeau in my books. Uh, so thanks for that. Other than that, you know, not a big fan. So what is the Great Reset? Is it another conspiracy theory like this mob boss conspiracy theory where he wants to sell his story to, he wants to sell his story to Hollywood and so he went, hey, Mr. President Trump, President Trump, give me a pot and I want to sell my story to Hollywood. We'll be rich. We'll make a, we'll, we'll partner. Come on. I'll, uh, I'll write out on the dirty, uh, corrupt Joe Biden about all the votes we stole. And uh, you just give me a little pardon. Of course, that'd be great, great deal. But it's, maybe it's just a conspiracy theory since it's from the Buffalo Chronicle, which is a confirmed far-right conspiracy theory website, of course. Um, even though even Snopes says, oh, well, well, I'm not really sure. About, you know, could be, uh, could be not. Unproven, who knows? Anyways, what is the Great Reset? Definitely just like a... A globalist conspiracy theory. They're turning the frogs gay. Oh, it's like Alex Jones level stuff, right? Well, let's uh, let's see. I went and found this uh, this freaky deaky website here. The Great Reset. There is an urgent need for global stakeholders to cooperate. To cooperate, one uh, global institution, one world government. I, I mean, a great reset, great leap forward. No, 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 we can't use great leap forward. We already did that. The great leap forward uh, to uh, global uh, economic suppression, um, the boogaloo to... Let's try again. There is an urgent need for global stakeholders to cooperate in simultaneously managing the direct consequences of the COVID-19 crisis. We're in a crisis. To improve the state of the world, the World Economic Forum is starting the Great Reset Initiative. So what is the World Economic, Economic Forum? That's some sort of... Hey, what is it? It's some sort of really well-established, well-known Davos, Switzerland, all the great bankers and, and uh, investment brokers and insurance companies and giant corporations of the world. They all gather to... Uh, the billionaires gather to lecture millionaires on what the common people should do and how they should live their lives. That's what this is about, it sounds like to me. The World Economic Forum. How are we going to solve the world's problems? By being rich bankers. Yeah, well, you can read up on it. Um, what's the opportunity? The crisis. Ah, oh, there's a crisis. Let's use it to push our agenda. Our global agenda. What's the opportunity? As we enter a unique window of opportunity to shape the recovery, this initiative will offer insights to help inform all those determining the future state of global relations. Relations, the direct the direction of national economies, because we'd like to direct those national economies from a global relationships uh, perspective. If you know what I mean, sort of in a central place like Davos, Switzerland, we could we could sort of direct or sort of plan, if you will, the, the, all of the nation's economies. Yeah, in a centralized place, that would be that would be great, and, and it's the it's the priority of societies. Definitely, we want a good society. Well, that is true. I really like to 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 be able to speak to that. But they seem to be deciding what the priorities for society is, um, because they're the ones who are pushing all these big scaremongering, terrible, overblown, scientifically overblown crises um, that are that are propped up by the media and blasted all over the place. Um, like that meme um, from Family Guy, was it? Where it's, uh, a plane didn't crash into a school, but if it did, this is what it would look like. <laughs> they show that on the news. Um, <laughs> just to get the, if it bleeds, if it, if, it, if it bleeds, it leads. Drawing from the vision. Oh, 
Then, uh, right, the priorities of societies, the nature of business models,、mm. and the management of global commons. We want to manage that global commons again from that central Davos central location. Yeah, we will plan it all out. We'll like to help inform and、uh, help those inform those who are doing the actual determining. Ugh, not no. We're just helping to inform and offer insights. Okay, okay, all right.、Uh, drawing from the vision and vast expertise of the leaders engaged across the forum's communities.、Mm, communities. That sounds not at all corporate. The Great Reset Initiative has a set of dimensions to build a new social contract that honors the dignity of every human being. Well, that sounds really wonderful and sweet and heartwarming. They don't give a lot of details. What do they actually mean? Do they mean something like they don't want us common prol us proles to own anything? They don't want the proles, the prions, the the peons, the uh, the uh, what do we call what do they call us the、um, The proletariat, the the rubes. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. What is it all about? Well, I don't know. I, I don't think I have enough time to go and do a whole deep dive onto what they're going to do.、Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of people who are doing a big deep dive. Maybe I'll do it in another lecture, in another、um, um, video, not a lecture. We'll do that in another video, perhaps. And there's lots of. Um, articles you can read on here about what they want to do, but from my understanding, they kind of you know everything should be like Uber、uh, products as a service. We can have a you know a harmonized global relations, global government.、It、sounds a lot like the New World Order, doesn't it? That's really what it sounds like. But I don't think it's the New World Order. I think it's the Old World Order. I think it's the Old World Order. We have a new set of lords who own. You know, own the land, so to speak, and we are the the peasants, the、uh, tenants on the land, the tenant farm, the tenant, no, the tenant farmers, who are、um, working the land that is mostly owned by these lords, and of course, the lords are the super wealthy, the billionaire class, the millionaires and the billionaires, the、uh, ultra elite, and of course, the corporations that they are the shareholders of, and、uh, they're all the shareholders, and they are wanting stakeholder capitalism. Instead of shareholder capitalism, where、um, and you know it sounds very well, and there's a lot of stuff that I kind of agree with, in fact, with the stakeholder capitalism idea. But I don't think that it should be a top-down、um, approach,、uh, coordinated by all the world's giant shady companies. And if you come and look here in the partners, our partners, we can look at the partners. Okay, who are all the partners? Sounds great. They're going to contribute their insight and their. They're going to help inform the decision makers. Okay, well, what are the partners? Let's see. <laughs> Arp.、Um, is that like Harp? No, I don't know. Okay, I just wanted to see. Oh, go to C and oh, look at that. China Construction Bank. Wow, China Energy Investment. Lots of China, big giant Chinese companies in there, and of course every other company that you could possibly imagine. All sorts of fun stuff. You can go and check a list. Who's on the list?、Um, J. P. Morgan. Yeah, let's go to J. Is J. P. Morgan on there? There's Japan Bank, Johnson and Johnson, J. P. Morgan and Chase Co.、Uh, they're not at all predictable. What about the other ones? Is there other ones?、Uh, A. I. G. Is A. I. G. in here? A. I. G. Oh, how did I guess? Wow. How about Tesla? Let's see. Is Tesla in here? There is no Tesla. Last I checked, the Coca-Cola company is here. Lego is here. Sure, yeah, great. Thanks, Lego. Exactly what we need. But Toyota is there. Toshiba is there. Time Magazine. Great. Thanks, Time. But、uh, no Tesla. Funny how there's no Tesla. And what about SpaceX? Why don't we look for SpaceX? Is there any Elon Musk company in here? I couldn't find any to be precise. Not even the Boring Company. And I wonder, maybe that's why the、uh, the media class is trying to go after Elon Musk all the time, like he's this bad guy, because、uh, you know he's not down with this whole Great Reset agenda. He's not、uh, he's not down for it. He's、uh, he's got different ideas. He doesn't think that we need a bunch of bureaucrats and bankers and multinational corporations to get together in Davos, Switzerland, unelected、uh, partners 
who are going to inform our actual elected body, you know, and then you have Dustin Trudeau out of his mouth, the Great Reset, Build Back Better, all the same junk, all the same globalist junk. I don't think this is good for the world. I don't think that these super elite multi-billionaire bankers really know what's good for common people. I think common people know what's good for people. And you know what nations need? They need sovereignty. They need their decision makers to actually be able to make decisions that are in the best interest of the nation. They have a strong independent sovereign nation that relates well with their neighbors and other countries around the world um, but that the, the the nation is strong the democracy is strong elections are free and fair and that the people who know what's best for the people they are the ones who get to set the agenda and set the priorities which may be different in different countries surprise surprise it's not all one priority dictated by from on high from this giant ominous tower here that they have our partners, we are literal tower here, a giant dark tower that they go and they meet at the very top in a giant room with the cabinet ceiling and they're all sipping wine. And it's, a, it's not really in a dark, smoky room, but it kind of is. But they're doing it in the open and here they go. Yeah, no, we're totally doing it. You should get involved. Great. Yeah, okay. I'm not down for this great reset. I'm down for perhaps a great reset or a series of littler, littler resets that reform and reform and reform our society so that it, it improves and we get rid of all of the, the terrible ills of society like extreme poverty and pollution and all those things and that we can eventually we can have lots of resources mined out of space we can have infinite energy taken from solar collectors in orbit and beamed down to earth all over the world or we can have un, you know, unlimited energy for everyone, and even the poorest countries, they can all have washing machines and big screen TVs and all the rare earth minerals that we have from those that come from space, so we don't have to mine our mountains and enslave children to do it, or uh, you know, have warlords with our cobalt or whatever rare earth minerals they're going after in the Congo or whatever it is. So there is a future that doesn't involve some global global cabal that needs to decide what the priorities are. We'll just help inform you make your decisions. Here's the decisions you should make from our perspective, from our valuable insights, from all of our partners, like all of the Chinese state banks. Okay, that's enough for me. I'm not down with a great reset. Trudeau, not fit for office. Uh, get him out. We don't have term limits in here. Hopefully, since we don't have those voting machines, it's all hand-counted here in Canada, potentially. The uh, Elections Canada came out and said, oh, no, we're not using voting machines. It's all hand-counted. It was very safe, and we have voter ID laws, and it's all very secure, and you can trust that uh, you, you did elect Justin Trudeau. Oh, boy. Well, maybe Canadians are just relatively pacified, and they like their Woke Bay president or prime minister, Woke Bay Prime Minister Trudeau. Oh, Justin, thanks for keeping us safe. Thanks for watching out for us. Mm -hmm. All right, that's enough for me. Bye. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share it to your friends. Please, you know, grow the channel, all those things. I don't have any merch. I don't have any money. They're going to run ads on my... Apparently YouTube's going to run ads on my videos, and I'm not going to get a cut. Great. Thanks, YouTube. If you see any ads running on my video, please... Put a comment and be like, yeah, saw an ad run. And I'll be like, oh, I mean, just be bummed out about YouTube stealing money from us. Oh, I should build my own YouTube. Hmm. All right. Peace. Please consider subscribing if you like the content. Leave a like or a comment. I'll probably reply. Hit that notification bell and the all button if you want to get it. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably suppressing it. Maybe I'm not big enough for them to notice or care yet, but uh, that'd be kind of uh, be kind of flattering if they were.